when i got to america nails are very expensive like doing this hair would cost me like 100 dollars plus plus so today we're doing my nails and i'm doing acrylic nails at home I was setting up the camera so there's one that's looking at me here and there's another one that's just here and so this that i had done a while back i've been with it for a month and then i decided to cut it i decided to cut it so because it got really long and i don't like long nails i like them short i like so when i'm nervous sometimes i do that when i get nervous i bite on my nails so this was a perfect solution for me to stop biting my nails i would bite them so hard that there would be nothing left on the cuticle i would eat the whole cuticle and then i would eat plus including inside the cuticle like, and then my nails would get like all the way halfway up to here and so started like when i started to do my nails that was just to help and acrylic is very hard to like bite on or so it just helped me with that bit of my life before i continue this video we are also doing a giveaway we're doing a giveaway for these nails as you can see this is a set of 100 nails um they are like stick on nails kind of you can use them as stick on nails or however you choose to use them as and then i have this other set of nails which i am giving away so there, there's going to be two lucky winners who are going to have these two nails just stick around to the end of the video so i went to the dollar store right because i didn't know which was the best um the best brush to get i got them at ross these ones it's a set of painting brushes that i got at ross for four dollars and this is the one i used this one it's the one i used you can see because i used it somehow the bristles are somehow somehow it needs to be like this it's like that but the bristles are everywhere uh, but it did a good job and so i'm going to use it again and then this one this said i got it at the dollar store because the brush that i needed was the one that's supposed to look like that so that goes to say you don't need so much money um to do your nails especially on the brushes and everything you just need monoma and all of that so the the monoma that i am using is this monoma it's the mia secret monoma i got this one from amazon so benjamin got it for me from amazon and i got that one so this is what i'm going to use as my monoma and then i have so many acrylic powders this is what came out as this purple this color wait oh it was this i don't even know this is supposed to be gray this is supposed to be purple and then this is supposed to be pink which i had used as you can see some of my nails are pink and then i covered it with the purple because pink was too bright for my hand and then i have the clear one here um but i'm not going to use this ones today this starter kit this one i got at walmart this one it comes it's the kiss company again so that goes to say i love this company a lot so this one you're probably wondering what this is for but i'll, I'll tell you this one uh it comes with the nail glue uh something to help the monoma smell a little less louder than it does acrylic primer and then it comes with the acrylic powder it comes with this forming thing that is supposed to help you form your nails something to put the monoma in this thing inside here and then at the back they have the nails it comes with a brush but the brush was not very good and then this cuticle wait i don't know if it's a cuticle thing that one and so that is the set that it comes with that's how the set comes and then oh i forgot it also has a buffer on the inside so this is a whole gel gel nail polish they are not very good because they're supposed to be very shiny but they do their job for now because if you're working on a budget for now and then the last thing that i have is this uh acrylic powder it's supposed it's a clear acrylic powder i i like nudes but i couldn't find a nude that is this much as you can see there's a difference there's a difference between 
do you see and i wanted something that's a lot so that i don't have to keep on buying a lot of the time so i got this one so anyway guys now let's get into the video i want to do my nails and thank you for clicking on this video let's do our nails together so in this liquid there is oil and washing soap dish soap so oh i also have this you will need this the nail cutter thing you will need it a lot um so let me tell you something before i continue when every time i was watching nail videos i would always be like i would always see people saying you need a brush that is number eight a number eight brush and the painting brushes they come with numbers like this one is a number 18 do you see that and then this one is a number this one is a number two so when i was looking for the brushes i realized that this is a number eight you see that so it's going to do the thing it's supposed to do because it's the number that most nail technicians if you're a nail technician and you're watching this please comment down below if i'm doing something good or not um i really respect the hassle of nail technicians but i feel like if you if you don't have the money to just do your nails every month i am the kind of person if i don't have it i can try and learn it if it's something that over time I can learn it. The first time I did my nails <laughs> didn't go very well, but let's see if today it's going to go very well. So this is hot water. I just put it in the microwave and then you put, you pour. So you're supposed to soak your hand instead of soaking it in, ooh, it's hot. It's supposed to be warm. Ooh. Ooh. I also got this it's not the most professional looking one i got this for when i'm curing the gel so you will need this the nail is showing you see it's lifting it's lifting my nail let me show you the nail is lifting and i want to make sure that it comes out so if this doesn't work this is a this is by the way this what i am actually doing it's something that people do on tiktok so i was like instead of doing the whole monoma i want to try this tiktok trick see if it works let's try it i forgot to put my towel here my wax station towel <laughs> you still went all the way inside <gasps> did you see that <laughs> It came out so smoothly. Look, my nail. <laughs> oh, it came out with a nail. It came out with a, a chunk of my inside nail. I saw that. The pinky winky. Do you see that lift? Okay. This is actually quicker than I thought it would be, so... Oh, that came out so good. I didn't think it would be so easy to remove acrylic nails, but also, this comes with a price. All of my nails are done. Done. Okay, let's get rid of this water and rinse my hands. So I've just washed my nails, but you can see, do you see that? Um, it has left all of that in my nails. So this is something that you probably, I don't know, but eventually, you're supposed to this 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 just gets to me this gets to me a lot so i'm going to take the nail cutter and i'm going to cut all of the nails because i like them cut um I'm, i know there's people when they go to get the na acrylic nails done they prefer to keep the nails but i like them cut so that they just grow with the acrylic i have beautiful natural nails um i just bite them a lot 
Plus, I also like how acrylic nails look like. What the next thing I'm going to do is just like buff the nails. Like just like buff the nails. Because oh, I need a towel. So my nails are right here. I put them two together. Two together and then i put them according to how my fingers go so that i know that this is the one i am picking how i measure the nail is like this i measure it until both of them touch the borders like both of them touch the borders so if it's here you can see it's not touching very well so you have to like move it for it to touch the borders very well where it touches the border is where you glue it i'm just going to take the glue i'm going to do my right hand first that is the glue so if you have like a recommendation of the a, a type of glue that i can use please i would like i would like to know so i'm just going to put the glue and this glue dries very quickly so in case you're going to use this glue just know that it dries quickly i just put them together so it's you have to be quick where i don't want to touch the glue i just push it in like that like that the first nail has been put now now the index finger i'm going to do this for all of my nails so the glue you can see it touched just a little bit of it so if i do this you can see that there's a lift where the glue is supposed to be so now i have to take this one again and redo it even it's crooked you can see i have to redo that this one is for my middle finger like it has gotten in very well do you see that and it's drying so well oh, i'm going to have to redo two nails every time you redo remember you're losing so for me this is product that i am using so if i feel like i'm wasting product i feel the loss so because you're doing it yourself feel like you are the person who is you know like the person who does the nails the nail technician feel like you're the nail technician such that if something goes wrong you feel bad about it then the next time you will not do the same mistake so what i do so that i can do my non-dominant hand i cut them according to the size that i wanted but i don't you don't overcut it to a very short size so i always so i like my nails short that's the that's the whole idea because i like my nails short yeah so i'll cut it up to here so that you leave room for filing see how i have cut it this is too long for me so if i have room for filing i'll file it up to somewhere like here so yeah i can't do long nails like this because of just the whole aspect that i have to type you see that that is doable for me so i'll file it just a tiny bit and then fix it later oh i guess i cut the thumb according to the height i wanted it i'm sure some people usually ask like what is the point of doing your nails so with a small finger you don't want to cut it too short because it's the small finger so you want to cut it a little bit longer because when you buff the small finger has its own issues so i don't know this one will need to be fixed but i'll still cut it short okay cutting it short it's short um i'll figure out how i'll take it out you see that it's like my normal height my normal nail height that i if i start typing i could be able to type let's continue let's do the thumb I, I do the, just the same thing for my non-dominant finger but with this one you kind of have to be careful um, to be precise and quick because the glue is drying up and the ends need to be pushed so that it dries up completed Now that I am done, I'm just 
filing with the softer side. This is how I like my nails that short. If you can see that short. So that if I'm typing on the computer, I can still do the tips. You see? I measure them like this. Like I put the nail together and then I measure them like that. And then I make sure that they just they're both on the same level. You see that? That's what I do to every of the nails. So this is so that I make sure that my nails are the same height. But I'm going to show you that this is I have this brush. I put soap. I use this show this this washing dish eh yeah this dish washing soap. Yeah, what eh? after you know filing and then I just to get it clean and remove all the dust. I'm going to rinse then I'm coming back. This is the nails washed, done and clean. Don't they look good and natural and cute like like normal nails? Honestly, I don't know how the anyone if you if you have like really long nails how do you manage especially when it comes to typing the computer that's all i need to know thank you you know why i also decided to start doing my own nails there's those nail technicians who eat eat your like your natural nails such that when you're doing when you're when it's growing you can see the bump where the nail has gone in and then because you have the you know the bump of where like the deep, yes, not the bump. You can see the deep of where the nail has gone in. And so doing my own nails, I've not noticed any deep. It just means I'm doing the right thing. I'm taking off just a small layer. This is acrylic primer. And this goes where not the fake nails are, where your natural nails are. If you don't need to buy this, I'm going to tell you that. You can do everything with this, the nail file. I'm putting it only in the area around my natural nails the acrylic primer i think does removes all the moisture in your hand i'm going to use the kiss beauty nails acrylic powder this is clear this is the part where you have to be careful you just have to so i usually dip her okay after I make my first dip, I do that just small, small. My brush is very bristly. So I, I have just dipped that and then I'll take a, a, put it in there and then I'll wait for it to get wet and then I will come and I will drop it. After I drop it, I clean it there. Then I start molding. I just mold it like small, small. I'm just going to clean that. I'm going to dip it in acetone just in case in case there was clogging. I'm going to go and dip that in there again and fix it. And that's what I'm going to do for all the nails. Now, I'm sure it doesn't help that this is clear. Let me try this with this um, and then we'll see. So I have picked the water, no, the monomer, and then I'll pick a bead, like a bead. And then I'll place the bead in the middle because that's where it's supposed to be placed. And then I'll just start spreading it out like that. Yeah, if the bristles are too, what is it called? Too far apart, there's a problem.
Okay, you can already start seeing it dry. Do you see that? Like, you can already start seeing it dry. Um, and the hand is feeling rather very rough. So, which means some of it has gone to my hand. You feel that? So what I do is I look like this. If the bump, you know how the acrylic bump usually is? If it doesn't show me the bump, then I can't continue until I see that bump. Like for example, this one has the wrong bump. You see that? But so far that is what we've gotten. Just cleaning the cuticle area so this is what we came up with so far you see that it's a clear it's a clear acrylic so it's a, it doesn't have like a specific look but I want to do you feel I want to buff because as you can see some of the things just we did our own things just Start filing. Sometimes I, you see the inside, you see the inside, sometimes it clumps up and stuff. So I usually go in the inside. going to be the process that i do for the next maybe i don't know how many minutes but it's going to take a while um if you don't have this thing you can use the nail file with the hard side and just it will take time but it will get the job done you can choose to do that if you don't have the machine okay hi guys i am back um well when you were watching the video it was continuous but yesterday I finished late I had to make dinner and all of that so I did the filing of my of the nails and this is what we ended up with it looks more like natural nail let me show do you see that it looks more like a natural nail but this is clear this is clear acrylic you see that so I did all of that I filed it um I love the the shape that I came up with this is the height that I like such that if I'm typing on the computer I still have the leverage on my nails to type the wig that I was wearing yesterday it just ended up I don't know something just something just went with it it was like not not anymore you know here's my natural hair in case you're wondering 
so let's continue so if I went in with clear gel polish it would be all clear nails but I don't want that I want some color that color this is the base and I'm going to apply the base so with gel polish you kind of have to be careful because if it goes in the skin it will dry on the skin but the good thing about gel is that you can work with it it cannot dry unless you put it in the in the UV thing so you can apply all the nails at the same time and then you can cure all of them at the same time every time I do my nails it's a two-day affair I'm not even talking about that it's two days straight so as you can see it's clear it's very clear so I'm going to cure it here and I'll cure it for like 90 seconds I was thinking about putting glitter It dried up with this thing, fiber from from the towel. That is odd. I'm going to get rid of the towel. So towel go on the side and then we're going to have this. In fact, this shows the nails much clearer. Here goes nothing. Okay guys, comment down below if you like this color. Please because i like it because it's not very it's not too pink it has some tad bits of pink it looks like a washed out pink that's what i love about it such that i'm not too pink so that my nails are not too pink i have something against pink and it has a little bit of glitter i don't know if you can see i don't know if one coat is enough but we'll see look at that don't you like the color do you see the color that's the color um let me just clean up the ends okay i'm cleaning up the cuticles oh this is harder than it looks and it takes a lot of concentration so Okay, so I'm going to take one glitter. You need this. I picked it right. And I'm just going to place it. There. I don't know if it is can be seen. I'm going to cure now. Hopefully it comes out looking good. Okay, let's cure this. Hard work pays, okay? It better pay. How many glitters am I supposed to put if I was putting glitter? Okay, so this is what the nails look like. And that's the color. So it came from that to that. Oh, this ring finger. I am feeling like I should do more glitter. So I'm thinking of doing a little bit of more glitter. What do you think babe? Should I put two glitters and let it stay like that? Yeah. Do the same as your other one. I'm doing it in my ring finger so that it's cute. Okay, so that is what we ended up with. I put the glitter on that. Do you see that? It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so now it's time to put the top coat. I am assuming the top coat is going to be put on top of the glitter too. So that is what I will do. Thank you.
we're done. So that's what it looks like. And that's the color, which I love. And the glitter there. Isn't that pretty? Look at that, especially the glitter. I love it. It's beautiful, so you can see the difference. It's beautiful and yet very simple. I think I'm so tired. Anyway, so I put the glitters, my glitters, I put them in three hands. I put them one on my ring finger, the other one on my middle finger, even though Benjamin was against it, but it looks good. And the other one is on my right hand thumb so that when I am writing, I see all the cuteness in my right hand too. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is a finished look. How do they look? Uh, yeah, there you go. This is the finished look. That's what I came up with. I love the color. It's not too pink or purple or whatever this, this color is. It's not too pink, not too purple. It's just, it's just something I can work with and it looks natural. That's what I was going for. Anyway, that is it for the video. I finally finished it. It is 6 20 p.m took me another whole day to do these nails uh, my nail days are two days my hair days are one day would you believe that but it's also because i'm learning how to do the nails anyway on to the giveaway my camera died so we are left with the phone if you're not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button if you liked this video please click on the like button also if there's anything that you want me to answer comment down below because i don't know if i went through everything so i will try to answer everything on the comment section so let's meet on the comment section if you have any questions or if you loved the nails let's meet also on the comment section because i want to know if you like the nails or not for you to be one of the lucky winners for the nails for you to be one of the lucky winners for the nails Go through the description box, you find everything that you need to know on the description box. And then we will announce the winner on the next video that we will upload. Okay, so Benjamin has said it. It's going to be an international giveaway. So it doesn't matter where you are. We are going to do Russian roulette kind of fishing so that we pick two people who will win this nails so we're going to do more giveaways so stay tuned i am excited for the giveaways we have right babe yes yes we have so many giveaways coming so just make sure that you are subscribed and you're following us on our social media handles i'll put mine and benjamin's on the description box so make sure you're following us and then you can be one of the lucky winners uh, you know according to more of the videos that we post so we have so many more giveaways to give so anyway guys don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe also remember that god is good all the time and all the time god is good and that is his nature okay guys bye